how's my stand out again from Fairly Martial Arts and I'm going to do a quick video on foot positioning on kicks. So on different kicks you need to hit with different parts of the feet. Um, first kick, easy one, front push kick. Um, we're going to be using the ball of the foot. Now excuse my foot, <laughs> but the ball of the foot. So I extend the foot and then my ball, the ball of the foot hits on the target. That's on the front kick. You can also um, you can use the ball of the foot on, on, on other kicks as well, and one of them I'm going to show you. Which is a turning kick. Now, for beginners, we say use the instep. Uh, so, the instep to the top of the foot. Um, uh, so that way they don't hurt their toes because they're not used to pulling their toes back. So if I have my chamber and I extend, okay, boom, I, I hit with the top of my foot. Now, if I'm doing it with the ball of the foot, I'm going to have up here, all right, I'm going to lift up the chamber, pull back my toes and hit, boom, with the ball of my foot. Right, so that's my turning kick. So instep and the ball of the foot. Now I'm going to work on the, the, the kicks you use your heel for, um, which is mainly hook kicks and axe kicks, or, or variations of if you do like a spin. Okay, so from here, uh, my heel is the back part of the foot, for those ninjas, and I'm going to extend the leg, hook back, okay, extend, hook back, and then I'll be hitting with the heel. Now, if I'm doing an axe kick, I lift up my chamber and I drop the heel down on the target. So it goes up, and I drop the heel down on the target. And now, so I've done front kick, which was the, the ball of the foot, turning kick, which you can use the ball and the instep, okay, and hook kick and axe kick. Now, this time we're going to be doing a uh, crescent kick, which will lead us on to the last one. Okay, so a crescent kick, we use the blade of the foot and we use a side instep. I'm going to do side instep first, which is everything on this side of the foot. Okay, so I have my guard, I lift up my chamber, it comes around and I hit with this part of the foot. Now, if I'm doing the other way around, I'm doing an outwards crescent kick, I hit with the blade, so I hit with the pinky side of my foot. Okay, so I lift up the chamber and it goes out and away and I hit with the blade side of the foot and then back down again, okay? Now, the only other kick that we use the, really we use the blade for is the side kick, okay? Um, you can use the heel, um, but the, ideally you want to use the blade. So say if I use the ball of my foot to do a side kick, there's going to be a bit of give because it's a forward motion, okay? So if I'm using the ball, okay, it's going to, it can collapse back. Whereas if I use the heel, it's solid. There's no give to it. So when I hit the target, it's not going anywhere. Now, the same thing happens with the blade, but it, it, it decreases the surface area. So it makes it penetrate a little bit more, or it's supposed to make it penetrate a bit more. So you lift up the chamber, extend, and you pull back, your toe, and it's, uh, I don't know, you know, the gross people out about feet or anything like that. <laughs> Lift up the leg, extend, and see, I'm pulling back my big toe so my pinky goes towards the target. Okay, um, hopefully that helps, and uh, it'll give, the, especially the juniors and uh, the ninjas something to work on with their feet and how to kick like the adults do. Okay, let us know how you get on in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.